the Fox World Creative Enterprise Initiative has uh, encouraged us to develop this kind of courses, giving students a hands-on experience beyond the classroom, and thought uh, the combination of researching artists in our community and their students to be able to meet them, talk to them, and visit their studio, and then organize an exhibition uh, very good for the community to share common experience uh, across generational um, barriers. Uh, we plan to uh, have students uh, visit the artists first mm -hmm. so that students get a sense of the artist working condition in their studio and to be able to talk to the artist in person and to talk to look at the art uh, in person together with the artist. For me, my life's experience has certainly had an effect on me. Some events that happened 40, even 50 years ago, and how, how do you recapture those? And I did it with my art. I work very spontaneously. Uh, I'm used to drawing, and a lot of these works are drawn. Uh, even though I work with the oil bar, but I, and I smear them and they look like they're painted or like they're pastel. I work with trees because I feel that they have certain spirits. And actually I started this when I was going to Vermont in the summers. And we had 80 acres of woods and I'd walk through the woods alone and I'd feel that these trees were looking at me and uh, that they had souls and they were sort of magical. I worked with Dorothy Fall. Uh, the reason I chose her was because I thought her paintings were really different and unique and had a very creative feel to them. And after working with her, it was really exciting because uh, I learned a lot about how she goes about creating her art, her different methods and those types of ways. I think it's important to know how other people work and what they see and uh, how they imagine things to be all this time. That's a real luxury. The work evolves. It has time to go into more depth. The years of working really add to what you what you create. So because you know you know how things work, you know how the materials work, and then you, as I said, you really should explore how far you can go with something. My work uh, is as a combiner, so I add a lot of elements to my work. I've often been fascinated with collage and with assemblage, uh, and I have a background in design and painting, but I'm a maker. Exhaustive thought became the, the mantra. And so I tend now to uh, do a body of work or, or have several bodies of work in progress as, um, as I'm working in the studio. What fuels my artistic drive is um, uh, spending time in third world and kind of ethnic populations. Um, I think my connection to those parts of the world is, is kind of a, a spiritual quality. So my name is Lindsay Dondelay. Um, I'm a studio art student and I'm a senior. Uh, and then the artist I worked with was Alonzo Davis. Um, I chose Alonzo because he, I feel like his art is very innovative. Not only does he use spell materials like bamboo, but he also incorporates um, LED lights, which I thought was very interesting. So combining electronics with um, things found in nature. Uh, called the Enlightened Pass to you. They are collage, painting, bamboo, and uh, encaustic or a hot wax. This uh, whole body of work is, uh, is an attempt or my way of saying, if you have a bright idea that becomes an aha moment. You know, I hope that people bring something to the, to the piece and, and to the story. I'm a very positive person. And yes, I, you know, I get up in the morning and great day and all that. So I, I throw myself into it. 
but I will tell you that I challenge myself. It's, it's really exhilarating. And maybe it's obvious, but I am a watercolor artist, and I've been working in watercolor since elementary school. It's all about color, and I think color is the theme and the purpose I even make on it. I, I always travel with my camera, and so I snap away and capture, I especially look for the figure in motion or doing, a, doing something that is not posed. And so I have a cache of uh, photography I've taken and use that as starting points for my next watercolor. I zoom in on what's positive and where to go next. And also by showing an entire class work, they can kind of see themselves in the continuum and compare their work and see where they could go toward. I'm China Cejeda, I'm a marketing major at the University of Maryland and I'm working with Valerie Watson. I chose Valerie because her work really spoke to me. I learned that watercolor can be used to make bold, vibrant paintings. I just loved how she used the watercolor, it really inspired me. And there's a couple of paintings here in the studio. I made myself paint them because I was going to limit myself to just three colors and one brush where usually I'm using the lots of brushes and the bigger the better, and I have a small round brush. And that was a challenge to me. So I didn't get too comfortable. I mean, not that happy, but sweating a little bit. And that's, oh my goodness, when that kicks in. So that keep going, and that little mantra in my head now, something, uh, a little pearl of wisdom that gets me, uh, gets me painting every day. When you get older, you you lost your uh, uh, urge uh, to compete with others, and you will feel that uh, you do painting, you create something just for yourself, for yourself, not for anybody else. Your your painting is you is for your own enjoyment. You enjoy it. Practice calligraphy. You write in words, you know characters we call. It. It's just like a draw a picture. Each character is a different picture. Of course, they have some common part, brushwork and ink. Both are very good. That's considered to be good painting. In Chinese tradition, no. We should live in harmony with the nature. We are talking about the natural. We paint the natural mountain water. And of course, in the mountain uh, and the river, there are so many medicines, houses, boats, bridges. But those are very small part. I need some, we put a couple of person there. Because we are on the part of the nature. Mankind is not the main part. Instead, we are part, we are mixed with the nature. The topic we are now have is called uh, boundaries, aging and creativity. You can get aging when you get older. You you are discharged from so many things. You you have the complete freedom to do whatever you want. As uh, the uh, time goes on, we get older, older, and your your attitude toward life has changed. Your painting will become simpler. Simpler. And also carry more and more artistic uh, quality. Simple doesn't mean it's uh, easy. You know? Easy. So sometimes uh, you you make a, a presentation very simple, but it takes years to achieve that quality. On each side of the had a good experience, sort of interacting with people across the generation. From the artist side, sort of gives an opportunity to lend their knowledge, and then for the students to talk to artists who really have a lot of experience. How did they, how did they develop their practice in their studio? How did they um, maintain a relationship making good art for decades? It's important to uh, younger students who are interested in continuing with their art and education to see the B 
living artist accomplishment and the challenges faced by the uh, by these artists in our own community. We've enjoyed the chance to to see um, how bright the students are and see what they can do. And because one of the things we do is we try to build community to see things like open reception where there are people of all ages, uh, different races, religions, all kinds of people at that opening all together for the same reason. Um, for us, it's a, it's a good accomplishment, and that's, that's what we want to see.